Hey guys, today I thought I'd show you how to create one of my favorite appetizer ideas, a cheese board. I love a cheese board because it's the kind of thing that you can just set and forget. And if you have a house full of family and friends and you're running around trying to get the meal ready, you'll love a cheese board too. Let me show you how to put together my go-to selection for a flawless looking cheese board. So step one, pick your favorite cutting board. You could do a rectangular cutting board. You could do a square cutting board. I also like a round cutting board because I find that it makes a really pretty presentation. But any board you have will do. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a little centerpiece for our cheese board. A cheese board is much like a table and you wanna create visual interest by drawing your eye to the center. And for me, especially this time of year when grapes are in season, I like to do a selection of grapes. I'll usually take some green grapes, mix it with some red grapes, and then add some purple grapes. Again, just adding nice visual interest to the center of our cheese board. So the first cheese I like to use is something runny. So I'll take a nice French brie, and then the second cheese that I like to use is a salty cheese. And for me, that's a really nice blue cheese. Then when placing your cheese, place the triangles out. That way I think it's a lot easier for people to serve themselves. Then I also like to include a mild flavored, almost neutral cheese. And for that, I'll use a goat cheese log. And then lastly, I also like to include a sweet cheese, like a Stilton. And this time of year, you can find them with dried fruits. I like to use either apricot or cranberry. Either one is great. Now that we have all of our cheese on our board, we're gonna go ahead and pair this cheese with some crackers. And I like to provide a variety of flavors and textures with the crackers like we did with the cheese. Okay, so for the brie, I love this cheese because it pairs really well with salty things as well as sweet things. But because we already have some sweet cheese on the board, we're actually gonna turn it into salty and pair it with some olive bread. I love nice sliced olive bread with brie. It's such a great combination. So we're just gonna nestle that bread right next to the cheese. And this is what makes a cheese board so easy is that everything is on one board. And when it comes to the goat cheese, we're gonna use some rosemary crackers. I love these little rosemary flatbreads that I can find at the store. You can just break them up and nestle them in with the cheese. Then when it comes to the blue cheese, I love to pair it with something sweet. I think there's a great combination between the saltiness of the blue and the sweetness of something like a raisin cracker. And then when it comes to the Stilton, I like to pair that with something sweet and flavorful, like a little brioche toast. Then the next thing that I think is really great on a cheese board is some texture. So we wanna have a combination of things that are chewy and things that are crunchy. So for the chewy side, I like to add some dried cranberries. That's a great thing to add, especially this time of year, and some dried apricots. And on the crunchy side, we're gonna add some candied pecans and some candied walnuts two great nuts that are terrific with cheese. Now you could stop here and you would have a very lovely cheese board, but if you wanted to kick it up one notch, you could also offer a selection of spreads. For me, some of my go-to favorites are some olive tapenade for something salty, some honey for something sweet, some pepper jelly for a little bit of kick. Now, if you've never had pepper jelly before, it's really delicious, especially paired with cheese. It's basically jam that's made from a selection of red peppers, green peppers, and spicy peppers. And it's really nice on a cracker with some cheese. And lastly, a little bit of fig jam. I love fig jam because it can go sweet, it can go savory. It's the perfect type of thing to serve with cheese. And it also is a great flavor this time of year. So now that you have all of these delicious ingredients out there just waiting to be combined, let me share with you some of my favorite combinations. For a Mediterranean twist, you can take a rosemary cracker, top it with a little bit of goat cheese, add a dollop of tapenade, and you will head to the south of France in one quick bite. Then for something that's really salty and sweet and is really delicious, you might wanna try a raisin cracker with a little bit of blue cheese, a drizzle of honey and a candied walnut. And let me tell you, this is another really great flavor combination. And lastly, I also really love this combination. Some brioche toast, a little spread of brie, a dollop of fig jam, add some candied pecans. This is another winner in my book. But hey, you guys try them all. Tell me what combinations you like best. I love a cheese board because it becomes so interactive with your guests. Because everybody, of course, wants to try their own flavor combinations and it keeps them all really busy while you're in the kitchen getting the meal ready. So I hope you guys give this one a try and let me know what you think. And I will see you back here the day after Thanksgiving for a really great leftover idea. Hold on to that cranberry sauce. All right, I'll see you then, bye.